<laughs> hey, how'd you go? You got a little mixed bag. Let's see what the forecast is for the morning. It sounded like awesome. It sounded like they were gonna you just, you just spit on me, bro. Sorry. Sorry. Whoa, what's up with that? Better shower than a <laughs> Better. Better donut than sushi. <laughs> what the? Where is this damn storm at? Let me see what the winds are doing. That's cool though, this though. There's tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that storm's weird. Gets sucked way up by Tokyo again. Yeah, it's hitting up in the middle. Yeah, no one's getting out of here on Sunday, Monday. Fuck. <laughs> We're looking for a gold medal. We're begging for a gold medal. That's right. I'm ready to go to bed. It's 10 I'm ready to go to bed too. We try to get a taxi now. We're maybe at the hotel by 11. Let's do it. Let me eat this old fashioned. I'm out of here. Imagine if your life was a movie, you were directing it. What would you do? After all this time, three decades of professional surfing. I raised that footage from yesterday. <laughs> walking through all these different walks of life. I almost want people to experience this story that I've had. Watch this left right here. Tomorrow, it literally could have the waves of the year. I grew up from such a young age watching the Olympics and I was really intrigued by the Winter Olympics, by skiing, but surfing wasn't an Olympic sport. So I didn't grow up with this pedigree that like I could be in the Olympics. So it hasn't been a dream of mine. Fernando worked really hard. He's lobbied for many years to make it happen and, and get it in the Olympics. And now we're there. I will say that that doesn't guarantee surfing is going to be in the Olympics forever. It might be a one-time deal. But as of now, it's definitely in Japan and it looks like it'll probably be in France. Along that seawall, there was a, uh, I don't know, there was like a nursery or something, mm -hmm. like a plant nursery. Exactly. So, we, yeah. so we called it Flower Farm. We named a wave that we- That's right, Flower Farms. We named a wave that we never surfed, actually. <laughs> it couldn't be more in the sun. It's exactly in the sun. <laughs> Gosh, the last time I was in Miyazaki, I went there in 1990 to surf the, what is now the ISA Games, the World Amateurs, when, right before I turned pro. We saw some giant, crazy waves. I like really shallow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm looking. <laughs> There's a way we surf called Currents Point. What we, you would say is like easily 40 foot faces. None of us got the balls to do it. And then Curran went out and paddled and surfed by himself. And then Tom Carroll and I followed along. But I was like, I was 19 at the time and it was pretty scary for me. It was big, it was proper big waves. I looked at this wave 28 years ago. This thing, I can't even see it though. But I, I know I've seen a couple spitting barrels, but I don't know if it's good or not. It's like, it looks weird. So I don't know. Maybe we'll just drive up the coast a little bit. Go drive up the coast, huh? Yeah. Keep driving. Then I know Kuroki is dead at all. Dead low at night? Yeah. Okay. We'll come back and try to surf this later, maybe. Mm -hmm. if you can see it. Okay. Well, we try later. Huh? Akira and Randy are friends of mine that work with Firewire. Randy's just a super cool guy who kind of knows all the politics and ins and outs of surfing through Japan and always happy to help out his friends and help him get good waves. Japanese people are some of the nice people you'll meet anywhere in the world. But there are some politics in the surf world there about around different places you can and can't surf. No mask, huh? No mask. This is the, he's not the beginning only, he uses the mask. Oh my god. I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to step outside. Yeah, this is a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, he said it'll be done in one minute. <laughs> you know, just out of respect, when you know that and you, you learn those things, you can just go see the right people, get their blessing on where you surf. They feel like you were respectful, so they want you to get good waves. And it's, it's a really important part of surfing in Japan. Good point. Uh, yeah, he said he uh, uh, met you at 
Udo's point many, many years ago when you first worked for that. For that oh, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. 1991, yeah. Mm. They said it changed a lot of the surf around your guys going, hey, you can surf there. Hey, you can yeah. go from there. Well, we were looking at that wave for a couple of days at Uchiumi going, God, I think you can surf it. <laughs> just we were checking this river mouth and looking back the other way, I could see this kind of just a little bit of a section, mostly closeouts, but it looks like there's some barrels, double up barrels. And the wind's still good. So, have some fun. How'd the board look? Felt really nice. Felt so much freer than my thruster. I think the twin fin's coming back. That's flower farm. Flower farm. Flower farm. The biggest ones would break outside, mm -hmm. but they would break. Some would go deep and some would go wide. Yeah. And then sometimes it would look like, oh, it's going to be pretty big, but then it would just come in and back off and go under me. Mm -hmm. And then those were pretty good inside. Yeah, because they double up. Yeah. I was just trying to line up one of those big barrels and I had one spit in my face. Like, you had to be just in the exact spot because. If you're too far out, you're above the ledge. If you're too far in it, you couldn't take off. Mm -hmm. And then they were short, short session. and they were pretty short yeah. sections. So like, you just gotta kind of like be lucky to be in the right uh, spot. The section got midi cut there. You can hold it up, but more positioning to sort of your luck. Luck got that. Not to go get to get all more chance to shut that off. I need my phone to read what's in my yogurt. Mm -hmm. It's trying to work it out. Oh, this is Spanish. Oh shit. The first three days and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. <laughs> oh, yeast soup. Fermented milk, pulp, blueberries, strawberries, sugar, milk, fragrance, sweetener, 
thickening polysaccharides, lactic acid. Might give this one a skip. That's the one thing about foods here. It's hard to read the labels. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I didn't know really what to expect here. I, I guess I didn't really think this event would be it's like I didn't really think about when I was amateur doing these events and if it would be the same as the world event was or some of those uh, team challenges of other teams around the world but it's it's just it's brought back a lot of good memories from that time I'm, I'm glad I came I was really doubting it a lot I was thinking yesterday the qualification process for the Olympics was really kind of throwing me off I just feel now like I needed to humble myself a little bit I was just thinking just take the guys all off the world tour but that doesn't bring in that whole international flavor and that's what this is more about. It's not necessarily the same as a world tour where you're just like picking out all the very best people in the world. That's what the spirit of the Olympics is, is to bring all the different countries together. Japanese fast food. You like this? Cool. Cool. Boom. Boom. You got your little musubi wrap or whatever. Perfect. Sam on this. 20, 29 years or something? No? Yeah. 29 <laughs> years ago, sir. It's right here. You guys got the um, logos for the boards yeah. or whatever? Yeah. I got them. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well do that now. Hey, I'll cut it. I'll put it where you all do it. I've been kind of doing it. Tell me where you want it. Okay. I'm pretty good with sticker. I'm pretty good with sticker placement. I'm pretty good with. I'm pretty good with sticker placement, bro. Team USA, bro. All right, so brass tacks. What do you think is more important? Once it's in the Olympics, a gold medal or a world title, like as far as like the impact that it'll make? Yeah, look, I mean, first, as far as whoever wins a gold medal in surfing, they'll quickly beat probably the most well-known surfer in the world. I've been surfing this thing since 1990, I'm ready for blood. Surfing the shorter heats, where we're not so thought out and planned out, it's been like a lot more fun. Just make them work, <laughs> You don't think, you just catch waves and go, and you know, you get in these situations that are like, it's pretty obvious where you're at. And you also have guys, you don't know what to expect from them in the water. You don't really know everyone's level or how they surf or how they compete. So you kind of just go out and do your own thing. You, there hasn't been a lot of like people sitting on each other, everyone's just kind of surfing it off. This con has been super fun, just meeting everyone, seeing everyone here. Everyone's really gotten along from all around the world. It's cool to like meet people from all these different countries. I wasn't sure whether a country like Iran would have a team here or Afghanistan. That one kind of blew me away. Hope you got the space in your... I'll find it, I'll find it, I'll find it. So it's a chair made by a uh, wow. Nazi surfer. Really? And this is the... Yeah, it's, so it's, the way it's not this a way shovel. So we, that's not a shovel? <laughs> so this is it. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. And this. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, man. So the guy's name is Geoffrey, so... Oh, that's really yeah. nice of you to bring this all the way and for him to make it. That's Wow, it's heavy, too. Huh? And my last son's name is Kelly, so... Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a big fan, I told you. Thanks, yeah. man.
There wasn't a single person here. Yeah, Not I one person. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so quick. It didn't used to be like that without the phones, you know? Before everybody had the phones. Nice guy. Come on. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. You saw. Okay. You saw. Okay. See you guys. Thank you. The Lebanese gave me a flag on day one. I just thought I'd throw up my hat. My grandfather was born there. You couldn't really script it any better. We got Italo, Gabby, Kaloe, Kelly. Final. Pretty sick. Kelly right there stalling. Disappears. You can still see him and the surfboard. Not as deep, but he did get a nice little barrel. Connects with the lift right here. It's more of a floater, so you can see that because that section was so wide, he wasn't able to tag it as vertical as he would have liked. That being said, a very important maneuver for him. Slide up in fourth place. It's a dangerous position to have Kelly Slater in fourth. You know he wants to win. He almost always serves better when he's against the rope. Slater's gonna go for the big loft as well. He completes his first rotation of the heat. We know he can pull out the air reverses. He needs a 748. 6.97, not enough for Slater. So it will be Andino and Medina, Team USA. And that's Team Brazil, the one apiece. Slater and Ferreira going for the rapid charge heat. I thought I lost, I thought he was out. I gotta serve for a rapid charge now. Yeah, no, I thought I just lost, I thought I got fifth place. I thought it was over. Oh my gosh, a barrel wave right there, what the? It's like right out of the gate, it's a big start. One major opportunity for Slater to have popped out of that day. A beautiful single turn. Split peak here, Kelly Slater on the left. Wow. Hammers a big turn to start. Will he get more opportunity inside? Forces the second turn. As he stands up now, fading right. Great opening snap, setting things up for what could be a big inside section. Hammers the lift. Comes through clean. Wow. 18 seconds to go. Kelly Slater paddles in to what could potentially be a reform through this inside section. Building speed, looking for something to hit, goes to the air, spins it around. Well, it was a nearly impossible section to do an air like that. Surf fans, you may have just witnessed one of the biggest upsets in ISA history as Kelly Slater, who's currently in third place, may have been taken down by Shun Murakami and Italo Pereira. And that could spell disaster for Team USA's overall team rankings as two Brazilians will be in the final. Fuck, what's that do for the team? Is that it? I think so, yeah. It's all I think, good. He, I think we needed two in the final and a win. So frustrating, man. Fifth. Now I gotta get second on tour to fucking make the Olympics. I mean, second in the US. You do it, dude. It's fucking. Four events. What are you gonna need? 9,000 points? A couple. I'm not quite go. sure. Yeah, until I be like. Well, I mean, I gotta. Bro, I'll win. I'll win, fucking. The winner, dude. I'll never get better than fifth in the world amateur. Look at that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Winners of the silver medal with 3,415 points, please welcome Team USA. About 12, 13 years ago, I went to Israel with Doc Paskowitz, and it was his dream to see there be peace between Israel and Palestine via surfing. And I really started thinking yesterday how surfing 
and seeing all these people from different countries all getting along. And there's no issue between the Americans and the Russians. There's apparently no issue that we could find between all these different countries from the Middle East. They're all here surfing, having fun. I think music and sport can really bring peace in the world. And I think we should think about surfing as an impetus for something like that, as opposed to worried about just how cool it is or something. So. Watching the first wave I ever saw there, I just wanted to cry. In some sense, the machine has a mind of its own. This board just felt like really just solid. We were sitting there watching footage, and Kolohe goes, why isn't this on tour? I want to get the feel for this board. Well, we get to see him ride it for the first time. I think I confused myself with that surf more than anything. Now bring all your attention to your third eye. To the alley-oop! Oh!